YouTube. Welcome back to my Liquid Chrome Nails channel. I'm glad you're with me today. I just wanted to touch on something before I get into what I'm doing here about nail art. Every once in a while I'll post the nail art or I'll read comments on someone else's nail art on their YouTube channel where nail techs are saying, oh I could never do that or I'm sure I could never do that or I don't have that talent. You know, you're so lucky you're able to do that. Not all of us start out being able to do that. I watched a video the other day, I seen a picture of the nails afterwards and I thought, wow, that's that's beautiful. It was three or four, four or five different colors. It's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna recreate it and I'm going to do my own little video on it, my own little swing on it. So I sit down to do that here, the nails that I go to put on, you know, after this removal, and it's terrible. I take it off, I put it back on, I went through this three times until finally I filed it off and went with a different design. Mind you, the design I went with ended up being probably my favorite nail top 10 so far that I've ever done on myself, so that was amazing. But not the point. I sat down to do that, I watched her do her tutorial, I looked at the pictures, they seemed simple enough, but when I sat down to do it, it was really quite difficult, and that's okay. That is something that she was putting on the nail just as easy as she breathes. And she's practiced that. That is something that she has probably put a lot of time into. Therefore, it was easy for her. I, however, had not used that technique, so it was difficult for me. Um, so if you think you see a design and you want to try it, just try it. If you fail, try it again. Keep trying it. I will continue to try that design until I have mastered it. In the meantime, this is what we're doing today. I have Opal Crush on here from Glitter Bells. I have um, Black Absolute FX OPI powder on here. I probably have a couple of different layers of a couple of different things because to be honest, this is not the first color set that this nails, the set of nails has seen. I have a clear set of nails underneath. You see me filing what looks like on the natural nail? I'm not. There is a clear nail under here, a Glitter Bells glass slippers clear acrylic nail. So I'm removing this and I'm going to put on something different. And that is what we are going to watch later on. I'm going to reshape them a little bit. Um, this set kind of went on in a hurry so it wasn't really a shape that I really loved. Um, I liked the set, but they were just ho-hum. So, what I'm going to end up putting on is an ugly duckling matte top coat over a layer of Glitter Bell's Opal Crush. And underneath that is a turquoise color by uh, Change by Trang, but I didn't have, there wasn't a color on it and there wasn't actually a color name on it when I purchased it. So I'm not sure what it is, but it was a dark turquoise color that you see uh, as we get carrying on. Then the Ugly Duckling matte top coat over, over the whole thing. Then I have gone ahead and used a brown Sharpie marker to put my little bit of marble through that on top of the matte top coat. After that has dried, I have sealed the entire thing with Glitter Bell's No Wipe Top Coat. So, this is what we're starting into here. I'm using my Light Elegance brush, it's a number 10, and I'm using the older brush because I generally do with colors, I find the glitter colors sometimes get stuck, sort of get stuck in the brush, so I tend to use an older brush. So. It's kind of learning curve here on the pinky to come in with that turquoise. It was, I wasn't using it wet enough. You can see I just deposited a huge bead there that generally I wouldn't waste that much of it. Same goes with this. I end up depositing a big bead, but anyhow. Um, so you can see that it's like a darker turquoise. I wanted to kind of use a lighter one, but all the lighter ones that I dug out were almost too light. So I did go with this one and I'm glad in the end that I did. So I do put finished product pictures at the very end here, the very end of the video, so you get to see what they look like. You can also see them on my Liquid Chrome Nails Instagram and on my Liquid Chrome Nails Facebook page. So I'm just lightly putting these on. So you can see the pink on my ring finger and that is the one that I tried to do the other design on and you can see the pink over on the right there I had been using. That's a Glam and Glitz pink actually. 
and I was using a couple of my Glitter Bells colors and I think I was even using a different brand, but that was the leftover from the design. So that's not pink from damage, that's pink from leftover design that I really got tired of filing off. I should have because, you know, now my design going over top is essentially clear and you're going to be able to see it, but it, it all worked out for the best. So I go ahead and do this to all five nails. Then I come back through and I cap them in Glitter Bells Glass Slipper, which is the Glitter Bells Clear Acrylic that I get from the Nail Throne. Um, I don't show my filing after I've capped simply because filing is filing and I thought you might get bored. So I do not show my filing. I go right to the finished product. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the little bell because you just never know when I'm going to upload. I tend to film and edit only when I have time. So therefore, sometimes you don't see as much of me as one might like. I hope again that you've enjoyed this. Please leave any comments down below. I love to hear what you think. I would love to be able to chat with you and see what nail art that you've done that looks similar to this. Have a great day.